sad, they feel pain. Now, how you think and how you feel creates your state of being. How to really fill the space that's all around you. By Dr. Joe Dispenza when he talks about, and I quote, all around you. Because so many people have asked me about how you really feel the feeling. And if you haven't watched my Joe Dispenza breathing technique video, click this one up here. But other than that, let's jump into it. So Joe Dispenza talks about how to really fill the space that's all around you all around you, and I quote. Now, what does he mean by that? And how can you really feel the space that is all around you? Because this is exactly what he means when he says feel the space that's all around you. And I'm gonna give you four steps that you can do so that you can start implementing this into your, whether it's the Botech meditation or you're doing any of his other meditations, when you can really feel the space that's all around you, you can begin to disconnect from your body. When you disconnect from your body, that is when you can really let go of who you were and step into who you are. Step one is really focus on the outline of your body. So when I say the outline, I literally mean, imagine you're being drawn in 2D and you're focusing on the whole outline of your body. If you want to imagine it like your hairs, that's the best place to start. So focusing on the outline of your body really just means, and this is the only, I'm putting this into like real world terms so that you can really understand how to do it when you do the meditation. Focusing like you are literally focusing on sort of like an inch, not even an inch, a millimeter above your skin. So what does it feel like when you're focusing? And the way you can practice this is focus your intention on your left foot right now. You can feel it. Now focus your intention on the bone in your foot going inwards. You can, you can feel it. Now it's, it's, it's a weird sensation because you can't necessarily really feel it, but you can differentiate between the skin and the bone. Yeah, you can do that. If you can't, then just practice doing that. I've never even thought of it that way. That literally just popped into my mind. But just focus on your skin. Focus just a millimeter above your skin all around you. Step two will be focus on your clothes that are just slightly off of your body. Then imagine yourself like you're focusing on your clothes. So then when I say focusing on your clothes, what I mean by that is like my clothes aren't completely stuck to me. Do you know what I mean? I can feel part of it is touching me, the rest of it isn't. So imagine the bits that aren't touching you. Imagine what that feels like, the space. The space between your t-shirt and your chest. The space between your shorts, I can't, I can't get them up high enough, and your legs. The space, like when it hangs down lower. To so focus on that space, the space that is between you and your clothes. Step three is focus on the things that are in the room you're meditating in. Whether you're doing this outside, inside, it doesn't matter where you're doing it, but focus on the space around it. You can't, you can't see this, but I'm gonna zoom out so you can see exactly what's around me. I'm gonna make this a little bit easier for myself. Focusing on the cushions on the sofa. This looks hilarious, I look tiny in this video. <laughs> Focusing my intention on the cushions around the sofa. Now, if you're doing this in a familiar place like your bedroom, your living room, or somewhere where you already know whether you've got a meditation room, which I'm jealous if you have, one day I will. Focusing on the space that's around it. So for example, imagining the energy going like this, up and over. And what I was saying about my shorts earlier, imagine that space, I'm not gonna give you too much, but imagine that space, <laughs> this isn't OnlyFans, Imagine the space between your leg and the, the bit that's hanging down effectively on your shorts or your trousers or whatever. So imagining the space that is around the couch, the sofa, imagining the space that is around the plants, imagining the space that is around the chair behind me, imagining the space that is all around me. Because when you start to imagine the space, you are therefore disconnecting your focus from the body. And number four is to expand it so the energy that's all around you has your complete and full focus. Start to go around the whole room. So for example, I've got ceiling fans, I've got the kitchen, I've got a bicycle, I've got the window. Imagine the space that is going around and the way that I really explain, um, imagine the space and moving the energy is just like it's going around me, kind of like a spiral of energy that's going around me. The spiral of energy is going around me, it's going around the perimeter of me, it's going around the perimeter of the bike, around the perimeter of the the bin around the perimeter of the ceiling fan. Imagining the space that is all around you and then expanding it as far as you want to. And then once you've expanded it as far as you want to, bring it all the way back, the final, final, final step. So after step four, once you've expanded it as far as you can, just bring it all back to the room you're in and just focus on the space. And if you want another example to imagine, imagine you can actually see the oxygen. Imagine you can see the oxygen in the room and focus your intention on the oxygen, not the objects in the room because what you want to do is be focusing on the space. 
but if you need something to focus on, imagine you can see the oxygen. That's a great way to explain it. So focus on the space that's all around you. If you haven't checked out any of my Joe Dispenza videos, click this playlist here and watch any of those. And if you want any more questions on anything Joe Dispenza talks about, because I know his stuff back to back, upside down with my eyes closed, left to right, I understand it. I love Joe Dispenza's work. I'm not saying I'm a genius, but I just study his work so much. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Other than that, subscribe.